It's sleek, it's stealthy, and it's one of the most ambitious and controversial fighter jet programs in history. The F-35 Lightning II has been called everything from a trillion dollar mistake to the backbone of Western air power for the 21st century. But beyond the headlines, what makes the F-35 so unique? Why have over a dozen allied nations placed their bets on this single platform? And how will it shape the future of aerial combat? Today, we dive deep into the history, technology, controversies, and future of the F-35 Lightning II, the most advanced fighter jet flying today. The story of the F-35 begins in the 1990s with the Joint Strike Fighter Program. The Cold War was over, but the U.S. and its allies faced new challenges, smaller conflicts, asymmetric warfare, and the rise of advanced air defense systems. The Pentagon wanted a single aircraft family that could replace multiple aging fleets, the F-16 Fighting Falcon, the A-10 Thunderbolt II, the AV-8B Harrier, and even older F-A-18 Hornets. Instead of developing separate jets, the goal was a common stealth fighter with different variants that shared most parts but specialized in specific roles. Lockheed Martin's X-35 competed against Boeing's X-32. After a series of fly-off demonstrations, the X-35 won in 2001, becoming the F-35 Lightning II. The name Lightning paid tribute to two legendary fighters, the P-38 Lightning of World War II and the Cold War era English Electric Lightning. Unlike previous fighters designed primarily for dogfighting or bombing, the F-35 was built as a true multi-role stealth platform. Its smooth lines, internal weapon bays, and radar-absorbing coatings drastically reduce radar cross-section. Instead of forcing pilots to manage separate radars and targeting pods, the F-35 integrates data from multiple sensors into a single display. Pilots call this a God's Eye View. It is not just a shooter, it's a flying node in a digital battlefield. Through the multifunction advanced data link, it can securely share targeting data with other F-35s, ships, and ground forces. The philosophy was clear, one jet to do it all strike, surveillance, and air superiority while remaining invisible to enemy radars. The first and most common version is the F-35A. This is the aircraft of choice for the U.S. Air Force, the Royal Australian Air Force, the Royal Air Force in Britain, and many NATO allies. Smaller and lighter than the others, the A model is the only one agile enough to pull a full 9 Gs in combat, placing it on par with classic dogfighters like the F-16. It's also the only variant to feature an internal cannon, giving it an edge in close-range combat. With a combat radius of about 1,200 kilometers and a ferry range of more than 2,000 kilometers, the F-35A was designed as the standard multi-role fighter for nations that rely on conventional runways. The F-35B, in contrast, was designed with the U.S. Marines and the Royal Navy in mind. Its defining feature is the Rolls-Royce lift fan system, which allows the jet to take off from short decks and land vertically like a helicopter. This capability makes it invaluable for amphibious warfare and operations from smaller carriers. But the innovation comes at a cost. It carries less fuel, can't match the A's range, and lacks an internal gun. Its combat radius sits closer to 900 kilometers, and its weapons load is smaller. Still, for Marines and Royal Navy forces that can't rely on large nuclear carriers, the B variant offers unmatched flexibility. Finally, there is the F-35C, purpose-built for the U.S. Navy's big deck carriers. It looks different at a glance, with wider wings, foldable tips, and a reinforced twin-wheel nose gear designed to handle the stress of catapult launches. The C carries the most fuel of the three, giving it the longest reach, up to 1,400 kilometers in combat. It was built for long-range strike missions, not close dogfights, and its maneuverability is capped at about 7.5 Gs. Like the B, it carries no internal gun. Heavier and more specialized, the F-35C nonetheless gives the Navy a stealthy aircraft optimized for operations at sea. Israel became the first foreign country allowed to customize its F-35s. Known as the F-35I, Adir, or Mighty, 
It incorporates Israeli-made electronic warfare systems and a plug-and-play architecture for custom weapons. Future plans include conformal fuel tanks, a two-seat variant, and integration with domestically built precision weapons. This marks the only case where Lockheed Martin allowed such deep foreign modification, showcasing Israel's influence in U.S. defense politics. What truly sets the F-35 apart isn't just stealth, it's its brain. The jet carries the distributed aperture system, six infrared cameras covering 360 degrees, allowing pilots to see through the aircraft with their helmet display. That helmet, costing nearly half a million dollars each, replaces the traditional heads-up display by projecting all flight and targeting data directly onto the visor. The F-35's electronic warfare suite can detect, jam, and deceive enemy radars without external pods. At the heart of it all is the Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine, the most powerful fighter jet engine ever built, producing 43,000 pounds of thrust. The result is that the F-35 isn't just stealthy, it's an information warfare platform designed to control the skies before the enemy even knows it's there. Despite its strengths, the F-35 program has faced enormous criticism. With a projected lifetime cost of over $1.7 trillion, it is the most expensive weapons program in history. Delays plagued its rollout, and early dogfight reports suggested poor agility compared to older fighters like the F-16. Maintenance of stealth coatings and constant software updates have also proven costly. But real-world training exercises tell a different story. At red flag exercises, F-35s achieved simulated kill ratios as high as 20 to 1 against older fighters. Pilots describe it as an unfair advantage. The narrative that once questioned its performance is steadily being replaced by testimonies from operators who see the F-35 as a game changer. Over a dozen nations now operate or have ordered the F-35, including the US, the UK, Canada, Australia, Japan, South Korea, and several NATO allies. The jet's widespread adoption means that in a future coalition war, allies can seamlessly share targeting data and fight as a single digital force. For nations like Australia, with vast distances to defend, the F-35A offers range and multi-role flexibility. For the UK, the F-35B enables carrier power projection from smaller Queen Elizabeth-class carriers. Each operator finds unique value in the aircraft's adaptability. The F-35 is still evolving. Planned upgrades include the Block 4 software suite, which will expand weapons integration, enhance electronic warfare, and bring AI-assisted decision-making. Hypersonic missile compatibility and teaming with autonomous loyal wingman drones are also on the horizon. While the U.S. develops its sixth-generation, next-generation air dominance, the F-35 will remain the primary stealth jet for decades to come. With a projected lifespan until the 2070s, the Lightning II is set to dominate skies for half a century. From its troubled beginnings to its growing dominance across the globe, the F-35 Lightning II represents the future of Western air power. It's not perfect, no aircraft is but its combination of stealth, sensors, and networking makes it unlike anything that came before. Whether in the skies over Europe, the Pacific, or the Middle East, the F-35 isn't just a fighter jet, it's a flying command center, a force multiplier, and a glimpse into the future of warfare. The question is no longer whether the F-35 can live up to the hype, but rather, can anyone else catch up?